Can you imagine a day where you feel fully self-expressed, fully empowered, rocking it in every way, and cheering yourself on? Yes, I know we all want this, but there are sometimes things that get in the way. And one of those is the habit of the inner critic. So today we're gonna to talk about three ways to combat your inner critic. Welcome here for the first time, or welcome back if you are returning. If you haven't been here before, this is your place to learn about max potential mindset, habits, and strategies so that you can thrive in your life and business. And the reason that I chose this topic today is that it's something that I've worked with a lot within myself and every single client I've ever worked with. And what is the inner critic? First, let's talk about that a little bit. Your inner critic is that negative voice that's constantly running in the background, keeping you held back in a limited belief system where you beat yourself up, it limits your joy, it limits you from taking risks, and it kind of keeps you in this negative, complaining, self-doubting shit mode. <laughs> that doesn't sound good, but we do it to ourselves all the time. I have yet to meet one person who doesn't have some version of inner critic operating in the background. You might be unconscious of it, and you might not even notice it. It might be running so powerfully at all points in time that you're so used to it, you don't even notice it's there. Or maybe you notice it's there and you work to eliminate the inner critic. And today I wanna to give you three strategies to help you do that more quickly. These are strategies I've used on myself and that I've taught to clients. It, they work powerfully if you implement them. So let's get started. Number one, <laughs> and this one's funny, but I want you to name your inner critic. So let's say you're standing in the mirror looking at yourself and you know, you've aged and you're not in as good of shape as you used to be and you're looking in the mirror and you're focusing on all of the negative parts, the perceived negative parts of yourself and you're thinking, oh, I used to be so fit and I used to be so good looking and I used to look so good naked and on and on and on and you're beating yourself up, beating yourself up. I want you first to notice that habit. That's really important. You've got to notice that habit and then you've got to name your inner critic and be like, hey, thanks for letting me know that you're upset. Thanks for letting me know that you're there and you have the habit of beating yourself up. So there's something about this acknowledging piece. So my inner critic is named Miss Perfect. So when I start, when I notice that I'm beating myself up, I just go, oh, Thanks, Miss Perfect. Thanks for letting me know you're upset. And then I move on. And there's something really powerful about almost disembodying your, or really embodying. So you're you're disembodying the mental shit storm that's coming at you in this self-doubting, yucky way. And you're disembodying it from your mind, putting it into the embodiment of naming it and then talking to it through acknowledging it, which then has the power to pattern interrupt what you're doing and shift it in a new direction. Because here's the thing I want you to know, it's a habit. To beat yourself up with your words is a bad habit. That's all it is. You can overcome it. So this is one way to interrupt the pattern, be like, hey, thanks, Miss Perfect, whatever name you wanna name it. There's a million names you could come up with. Negative Nellie, negative Ned, <laughs> Miss Perfect, Mr. Perfect. Uh, some name that reminds you of an inner critic voice that you used to hear when you were a child could be any of those names, but it's you acknowledging it, saying, ah, thanks, thanks for letting me know you're upset right now, thanks for let me, letting me know you're picking on me, but I don't need that right now, and pushing it away. This pattern interrupt will help you shift out of inner critic mode and move through it more quickly so that you can get back on trap, track, <laughs> back, back on trap, back on track in not beating yourself up. So it's a habit and you're gonna to have to reorient the habit in a new direction if you wanna combat the inner critic. Number two, I want you to practice implementing the screw perfection mantra. So this is another one that's really powerful. Part of the inner critic voice expects you to be perfect. 
And when you're not being perfect, which there's no such thing, <laughs> your inner critic will beat you up. Why aren't you good enough? Why aren't you smart enough? Why aren't you witty enough? Why aren't you better looking? Why don't you have all the right answers? Why can't you make money faster? Why can't you on and on and on and on? We beat ourselves up all the time. And all of that is through us expecting quicker results, more perfect results, and, and for things to be in this fantasy realm of where everything is perfect. And being a perfectionist is actually a form of unconscious strategies running you so that you don't have to overcome your fears. So it's a fear-based unconscious strategy. When we want to be perfect, it holds us back from taking action because there's no such thing as perfection. To get better and become a master and become an expert in anything, it takes practice. And practice is what makes you be have that idea of perfection. But you'll never get there because there's always a growth at there's always learning curves there's always the next new so you're not ever going to be perfect and if it's holding you back from taking action I want you to implement the screw perfection mantra and you're really directing this at your inner critic because it's that inner critic voice that's going oh you're not good enough you don't know enough you don't have the right information yet you don't have all the wisdom all the tools you, you don't know what you're doing that's coming from a place of wanting to be perfect. So you need to just say, screw perfection, take the first step, get rid of that inner critic, and get on it so that you can really be fully expressed and try out new things in your life and your business so that you can succeed and create what you want. The last one, number three, I want you to stop negative self-comparison. And negative self-comparison is a curse. It is the killer of joy. When we compare ourselves to a different version of ourselves that we think is better, smarter, faster, better looking, richer, whatever, more youthful, then we are in a state of a lack of gratitude and it's gonna build up and make us feel inadequate. So if you're comparing yourself to an earlier version of yourself that you thought was better or to the fantasy version of yourself that you think is gonna be so much better, you're in a state of comparison. You also might be doing this with other people. You're putting yourself in a pit and you're putting other people on a pedestal and you're thinking they're better than you in some way and that you're not good enough. This practice of negative self-comparison is an inner critic victory. <laughs> so if you think about how we nurture our inner critic, it's through perfectionism and negatively comparing ourselves to fantasy versions of who we want to become. So in order to combat that, you've got to stop that habit. So it's awareness, becoming mindful of that you're doing it, and stopping that habit. How can you do that? When you notice yourself comparing yourself to other people, then recognize that you have that quality and that trait too. Everybody has every single trait, it just shows up in different forms. So if you're thinking, oh, that person's so much wealthier than me, they're so much better than me, then I want you to write down a hundred ways where you already have wealth. And it might not be in the financial form. Maybe it's in your athleticism. Maybe it's in your intellectual knowledge. Maybe it's in your world travel experience. Maybe it's that you speak multiple languages. Maybe it's that you're really damn good at knitting. I don't know what it is for you, but you have wealth somewhere, so own it. So stop negatively comparing yourself to others. So let's recap real quick. I want you to name your inner critic acknowledge the negative voice that's going on and send your inner critic on the way every time you notice yourself practicing the inner well unconsciously practicing the inner critic number two i want you to practice implementing the screw perfection mantra so when you notice yourself hesitating and having negative self-talk telling yourself you're not good enough you're not ready you're not prepared Practice saying, screw perfection, get on with it, take the first step, overcome that fear. And then praise yourself once you do that because that's awesome. That's you cheering yourself on and taking action to be more fully expressed. And then number three, I want you to stop negatively comparing yourself. So don't compare yourself to the past you know, your perception of yourself as in being better in the past somehow, or the fantasy version of yourself in the future, or other people who you think are better than you. Be who you are today. Be 
fully self-expressed. Know that you're awesome. Focus on what's working in your life and business. Focus on all the strengths and skills that you have. Fine tune those and keep working on those and developing yourself into a more empowered version of yourself.